guys so here today i'm gonna be showing you how to set up your camera to take a time lapse with your canon eos m and not only that i'm gonna show you how to do all the post work in davinci resolve to get nice smooth time lapse footage now unfortunately at the time of this recording i haven't really taken a lot of time lapse with my canon eos m due to the weather it's been horrific but hopefully um by the time I finish this video, I will have a few couple of samples here and there to throw in this video so you could see how it works. But overall, the process doesn't change at all. Let's just get into the camera, dig in the menu and get right to it. So guys, so here we are in my Canon EOS M and this is the first screen you see when you power up the camera and depending on your mode and your camera settings, that will be different in here on the screen so let's long tap the trash can button to see our magic lanterns setting so the first thing you want to do is go to presets and either select 4k and um, zeke also recommend the 5k but personally i have better results with the 4k go ahead and select that go to the quick menu inside of that 4k on the presets the quick menu in presets head over to 4k time lapse all right so you, what you want to do is head over and set your 4k time lapse to two frames per second and that's you know it depends on what look you're going for if you're going for a very fast forward fast paced time lapse and you want to crank up the shooting frames but usually for time lapse the slower is better so that's it you leave that 4k preset alone you head over to your ratio and this is just whatever you like uh, natively i like the 2.35 because it also matches the ratio that i use on videos but that's up to you you could shoot in 16 by 9 if you like but just for tutorials i'm going to leave it at what i shoot at in video so it's 2.35 bit dead whatever you want 14 bit 12 bit doesn't matter but again i like to match my settings in camera whereas i usually shoot in video that makes it easy when you want to switch between time lapse and video vice versa so that's about it other than that you want to turn off the sound recording which is pretty simple just on or off and we are all set pretty simple guys pretty straight out just go to presets 4k and turn on the 4k time lapse that is it press the menu or half press the shutter to get off and have all your settings ready to go and press the record button and right now we are recording even though technically we're recording a video as you can see here it's actually just a time lapse so we could just spin this around and uh, i'm gonna turn this into a time lapse later it's not gonna look good because i'm jerky movement so let me just go smoothly and uh all right so maybe 28 seconds 30 seconds of this is good enough to do a very quick short time lapse sorry about the terrible example but trust me i'm gonna be posting more time lapse as i record more and more with this canon eos m so subscribe to stick around for that but for now, let's just stop this video and let's head over to DaVinci and uh, see how we can prep this up to make it look good. Guys, so welcome to my DaVinci screen. And here's the video that you were just watching right now. And uh, right now I'm in the editor and I want to show you guys how to turn these chippy jerky footage into a time lapse. And yes, it looks really slow. And you can that is because we shot at two frames per second. So really, that's what Magic Lantern did with our video. It just recorded a really slow video, just basically a slideshow. And in post, we can turn that into a time lapse. First of all, I want to let you know I have two video clips here. Uh, one is I shot with the force frame. You know, when you can force the shutter speed, the... Uh, the frames per second on the video i force it to shoot at two frames per second so if we look at our inspector up here in da vinci we can see that the frame rate on this video is actually two because we did force frame it and on this video i didn't do force frame just 
the regular settings that I taught you on the video. Uh, I just shot a 1 30th of a second shutter speed, but since I told the time lapse in the quick menu to shoot at two frames, um, I don't know why it's strange that the frame rate here is five. I actually pressed, I selected it to be two, but we'll see what happens. Regardless, these are really great frame rates for any time lapse. But of course, you can adjust it in your Magic Lantern menus in before pose. But as a heads up, I'll let you know right away that regardless of what setting I use, they both look identical. Nothing really changed. So all we have to do is select the clip, press hold command and press R to bring up your speed change. Or you could just right click it. And under the menu, there is the change clip speed. You could select it that way. And under the speed percentage, you just want to bump it up. You could start anywhere from 400% to 800% and it's going to look really smooth. So let's just start out with 400%. Hit enter and bam, you see how the clip just shrinked? That's because the clip actually just sped up so it got shorter. So let's check it out. Let's play this on the screen. And because I am doing a screen recording, it's not going to look smooth, but you're going to see how it looks, the final edited video. And yeah, it looks pretty smooth, but it's a little bit slower than I thought, especially pay attention at the little light at the background, my RGB light in the back. Pay attention how it changes between colors. If the change is gradual and radiant, like very smooth, then that means we have a really good speed. And if it goes fluctuates really fast between colors, that's just, it will be an awesome effect. In reality, that light changes really, really slow. It's like 10 seconds between each color. So definitely we'll get to see how the time lapse can go faster. So let's just go ahead and go a little bit faster. And one of the quickest way to get speed change in DaVinci, again, hitting command R, and then down here, the next to your percentage, you're going to have a little arrow pointing down. So if we expand this a little more to see what we're doing, um, you're going to have a little bit of settings for your speed. And if you go to change speed, they're going to have some defaults here. And as you can see at the bottom, we got 800. And of course, that's not the fastest. You could go even faster. But let's just go ahead and see what 800 looks like. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Look at that light go. Woohoo! There we go. So 800 is a pretty sweet spot I found in a lot of my EOSM time lapse video. I really like it. Another way to do edit your speed in for your time lapse in DaVinci is heading over to your cut page. So if we head over to the cut page, we select the video clipped. We go here and we can see again this is at two frames per second. Horribly slow. Head over to the settings under your video monitor there is a settings icon the little hamburger settings icon over five menu over or actually six menus over to the right that from the bottom oops sorry five it was five so five menus over on the bottom you're going to see your speed settings and right now it's at one which equals to a hundred percent so just look at this decibel as a hundred percent so if we were to say eight then that's basically earlier 800. So right now we just made this to 800%. Let's check it out. And yeah, it's looking really, really good. But let's say you wanna speed it up even more. You could either just drag it over slowly or you could just type it. 12, hit enter. Bam, we got 1000% speed. That is fast. Look at that, woo, look at it go. So I'm gonna leave this at 12, 100% and the other clip is going to be at 800 and at the final edit let me know which one you like better personally I like 800 better but if you have a really long clip like say a sunset just coming down then definitely you might bump it over to 1200% but regardless that's all you gotta do guys pretty simple once you get the speed you like you have the whole video set up how you like that's it. You do your regular DaVinci things. Head over to your color page, move over to the camera raw settings, and go to decode using the clip. Color space and gamma is black magic design. 
uh, do your exposures and whatnot, your color temp and tint, slap on a little lot in there and you are set to go and look at that. So looking really great. All right, so we got our time lapse. And there you have it, guys. That's how you guys do a very easy time lapse with your Canon EOS M paired with Magic Lantern and DaVinci Resolve. It's super simple. So what are you waiting for? After you finish liking the video, just subscribing, go on, head out, and start shooting some time lapse. They're really awesome way to complement your cinematic videos, your movies, whatever you're doing, even if it's just like a family trip. You know how epic it will be to have just a 30 second video clip of the clouds moving around the beach, wherever you're at, the trees moving along, the animals just swimming along the beach or the lake. It will look very cinematic, just adding one little short time lapse to your video. So now you know how to do it. And uh, yeah, if you guys found this video helpful, I would appreciate your thumbs up, sharing, and that's it. Finally, guys, I'm gonna head out, try to shoot some time lapse myself, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.